Tampa, the Cigar City. The city's proud of its heritage and one way to celebrate with a festival tomorrow, which is the Ybor City Cigar Festival. And joining me today is organizer Lisa Figueredo and Gabriel Gonzalez, along with his beautiful mother, Tia from Tia's Authentic Latin Food. Good morning, everybody. How are we? Good morning. Very Great. good. Okay, you are spoiling us. Where we've got Cuban sandwiches, Cuban food. We've got cigars that are being rolled in the studio. Plenty to talk about, and it all kind of comes together with this festival. Absolutely. Lisa, tell us about it. Well, the Ybor City Cigar Festival actually started back in the 30s when the cigar industry decided they wanted to do something special for their cigar rollers. So they would have this elaborate four-day festival with floats and cigar rolling and cigar smoking throughout all of Tampa, not just Ybor. And it was a way for the cigar owners and the cigar manufacturers to give back to their cigar, you know, rollers and their employees mm -hmm. a, a festive day. So that all kind of ended when the cigar industry kind of, when the embargo happened with Cuba and the cigar industry started to kind of go under and more into a machine rolling situation, which happened in the 40s and the 60s. And then by that time, the industry really kind of moved out of Tampa, unfortunately. But we still have great cigars coming out of the DR. Like, you know, you have Arturo Fuentes cigar, which is, you know, to me, the greatest cigar in the world. And we actually still have some great cigar rollers. We have a cigar roller here today from Tabanero Cigars, which is actually located in Ybor City that hand rolls their cigars and all their hand cigar rollers are from Cuba. So they're the real deal. And of course we have this wonderful food and the celebration is just gonna be incredible. I was gonna say this is all tomorrow but we're kinda getting a little sneak peek. And, and Gabe, I'm gonna bring you in right now right. because of course you think of the Cuban sandwich and yeah. but that's not all there is. So what all did you bring for us today that people can expect to see at the festival? Well, um, I wanted to showcase a little more since you guys been so nice to us and allowing us to come and also because we're known for winning world's best Cuban, but there's more tortillas than that. So we got uh, we got some ribs here which are uh, baked and smoked. They're first baked and smoked. Then we got a churrasco, skirt steak cut up. We have the Cubans, of course, arroz con pollo, traditional style, Spain style, and um, you know, some our famous roast pork that everybody eats and, uh, and the platanos and that's about it. And here's some sofrito which makes everything official <laughs> and that mommy's flan that we can't make enough she can't make enough of it because nobody Aww. can duplicate it well so. you know it's interesting i haven't been in tampa but almost three years now and getting mm -hmm. to learn about the cuban heritage and how people are so proud of their roots mm -hmm. and i know that that kind of speaks volumes to you and what you've been able to do with your life Absolutely. talk a little bit about the importance of, of preserving this part of history well um it all came about for me back in 2005 when i decided I'm, i i think people would be interested in knowing the history of tampa and we we were losing that so I came up with a magazine called Cigar City magazine that is talks about the history of Tampa and I thought you know I'd get past the first or second issue and it actually grew way bigger than me hmm. so we just finished actually doing our last print uh, last year and now we're we're online because we were just getting so many people from all over the world wanting to know about Ybor City and Tampa so it's a dedication from me to the people people of, of Tampa and to all the people that want to learn about Tampa. And I've got, you know, deep roots. My first great-great-grandfather was the first mayor of West Tampa. <laughs> My last great-great-grandfather was the last mayor of West Tampa when we had individual mayors for, you know, the West mayors. Tampa. So um, it's it's close to my heart. Well, you know, you said people high demand your magazine. Something else that is always in high demand are those cigars. Absolutely. We've got it going on right now in our studio. Lisa, can you tell us exactly what we're seeing here and uh, how, what the, how the process works? Absolutely. So what, what this cigar roller does is that he has a mold, that's what you see there in front of him, that black plate that has the little slots in him, and he takes the tobacco, it's a long leaf, and he molds it into that mold, and then they mold it, they put another top over it, and they keep that there for a while, and they mold the cigar. Then he takes a cigar leaf, and he pulls out 
the uh, the vein and it has like a, a, a vein through the leaf. He pulls that out and then he's working with what's called a chaveta. It's a certain type of knife and you'll see that on his table that's used to cut the leaf and to shape it. And then he'll take that cigar that's been molded and he'll take that leaf that's in his hand and he'll place that molded cigar inside that leaf and then he'll start to roll the cigar. And once he rolls the cigar, um, he'll cut a small little circle that's probably about the size of a dime. It could be a little size of a quarter depending on the gauge of the cigar. And that's the head. And then he'll wrap the top of the cigar with the head. And then he'll cut the end, which um, is the end of the cigar, which is where you would light it. Okay, I'm, I'm hoping, but I gotta just confirm, are we gonna get some rolling of cigars at the uh, festival tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, we're gonna have several rollers, uh, thanks to Tabanero Cigars. They're always so gracious, Janko over there. He always gives us tons of cigar rollers. And these guys are authentic, Cuban cigar rollers. They are from Cuba. So that's going to be something that's a sight to see. Um, we're really excited about it. And of course, we have every cigar you can imagine from around the world. Um, you know, like the Arturo Fuentes Cigar Company, you're going to have J.C. Newman. But not only those, but you're also going to have the boutique cigars, the cigars that are still being rolled in Ybor City, that you can wow. still go and watch them make those cigars. Okay, so basically you just got to get out there. Let's take a look at the event there. details just to make sure everybody knows when and where. Again, all tomorrow, 11 to 5 p.m. And it's going to be, I mean, lots of food, lots of fun, lots of cigars. Thank you so much for coming in and talking about it today. Thank we you. really do appreciate it.